So let's do the other stage for a character. Okay, first of all, we do have uh, a wall and we do have a normal standing. Okay, so next we're going to add crowds. I think for crowds, we basically only have one thing. I'm going with, uh, you know, the way Metal Gear handles or used to handle handle this. So I'm going to use the idle for crowds. Let's set this up to loop time and original, original, and then set this to original. Okay, then click the apply and just drop it here and we'll see where it's going to be set up. Crowds idle. Then, hmm. Then we have our prone as well. So let's maybe set this up to just to keep moving forward with all of this. Okay, and let's drop them in, in here. And let's rename them. So this will be prone idle and this will be prone movement. Now, things uh, kind of change now when we are doing idle and when we are doing crowds and prone because our, yeah, our movement and our rotation will now be based on towards where we're looking at and if we are on prone and we're looking the opposite way then it should move back to crouch idle okay so let's see how we can handle this first of all let's make this into a new blend tree and uh, which we're going to say crouch and prone let's do crouch and prone i guess i think in this context crouch and prone is the same thing so let's do movement and actually yeah we're going to have to add them back again ourselves so this will be forward movement it's going to be set at one this will be the idle for prone when we're not moving and this the crouch will basically be when changing a direction so we're going from minus one to zero and then moving forward okay so let's switch this to the animator and i'm going to take these two i'm going to take these three and just keep this one now then let's add is crowds and yeah for the most part we're going to keep the same thing being crowds or not is going to just stay the same thing okay just for ease of use false this crowds okay and then we don't need x time awesome let's go to the script then onto our input handler let's add a key which well, well let's hard code it for now since we're not actually using anything get key down key code let's do c okay then controller dot is crouch will basically be the opposite okay then inside handle animation states we're also going to do animator dot set bool is crouch to is crouch okay so this will change us into a new uh, locomotion state now if we are crouched then this probably doesn't work anymore okay or we we have to rethink the entire logic for that. 
Yeah, I think I might just have to branch this off entirely, to be honest. Let's see how close we are to this. Now, if I'm correct, when we are going crouch, we basically do not have the opposite. Yeah, we do not have the crouch. We only have the prone. But we're moving. Okay, and we have those movements. So, yeah, so maybe we can find it from, anyway, yeah, I think we're going to have to branch this entirely off. Then for handle movement, we're going to say, well, we still need the origin anyway. So let's do if controller dot is crouch else okay then inside move we have the normal movement so let's ignore this entirely and we're going to manually call it from the input handler okay so we have movement then handle rotation in this case it's our move direction and our delta we're passing wall movement can stay the same and maybe we'll we'll change it later after we are finished with our crouch movement so let's close the camera manager it's okay for now So, right now we do have our move direction, okay, that's going to stick. But now we need to take into account the movement of our character. So let's do, let's collapse all of this, first of all. And let's do crouch movement or probe movement. Probably good, crouch movement. We need to pass our move direction and our delta for now. So crouch movement, then we need to find the, the dot product between our move direction and our own transform dot forward. Okay. If dot is less is higher than zero then you're going to move normally as you will do with movement so I guess we can just pass move move direction and delta and actually this is movement by movement speed so no let's do this differently let's just hard code it and movement speed let's do crowd speed or prone speed okay so that will now be move direction by prone speed then handle rotation as well to be your move direction by delta else and also handle the animation so let's see. And I think it's uh, other here. So actually just pass this, I guess. Hand movement animation, and we need to know our move amount then. Move amount. And the delta again. Okay, else animator dot set float movement back to minus one point one F delta. 
Okay, so if you're going back, then you're going to stay alt crouched. Then we're going to rotate our direction. Actually, let's try, let's check this, how it's going to work, because this can get a little bit confusing. Crouch movement, move direction, we do have that. We have our delta and we also have our move amount. Let's check this out. Now it works. Yeah, because our move direction is at zero, it's basically when it's at zero, then dot is higher than zero, uh, it's lower than z zero. So we need to check this or move amount is zero. So done like that. Okay, then clicking to go back and change the direction get, gets us there. Now, of course, it should stay there. It should not just update, but then uh, for that to happen, then handle movement animation should be only happening if move amount. Hmm, no, that's not going to work. So maybe we need to change the brain tree entirely. Oh, you know what? Screw this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do is crouch and uh, yeah, okay. We're going to hack this. We're going to make this slightly differently. So this will be only for crouch and it can just be a single state, I guess. And this will be prone. Okay, for this then we can have this. Okay. And then with prone we're going to remove the first state. Okay, so we have zero to one is crouch then. And then we're going to set is prone. Is prone. Close that. Is prone. Set that to true. Don't need that. Set that to false. Okay, so we have crowds, crowds. Okay, so and let's ignore the move amount then. And we're going to set it as if this is the case, then animator dot set bool is prone, set that to false. If it's the above case. Animator set bool set this to true. If move amount is greater than zero, however. Okay, so only when you're moving is going to be, or when you first move is going to do changes to that. So if is prone equals false then you can change your rotation but i want to change the speed actually actually 
Yeah, okay, let's say move direction by delta, and we'll see. Okay, okay. Let's try this out. I don't think it's going to work exactly as it is right now. But we'll see. Yeah, no, actually that works fine. We just don't get back to a move direction, okay. So to fix that, I'm going to take this and say only if move amount is higher than zero. Otherwise you're not actually pressing any buttons. Yeah, that's kind of too fast. So maybe under rotation, move amount is greater than zero. If we remove this, I think we can find a way to just actually have a delay for this. Right now, what this will do is will just make us drop down and we can only move forward and rotate slowly. Okay, but moving backwards. So when you're up, you can rotate everywhere you want. So I'm actually just going to give... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to add a bull here. Can rotate. And I'm going to add the behavior or bull status. Let's call it change bull status. Let's open that up. And hold on. And it didn't open. So this is a state machine behavior, which means it's only going to be added on to an actual state inside the animator. So we need status and we also need the bool name, uh, which is going to be a string, bool name. We also need to know if we want to reset on exit, which we do in this case. Then animator dot set bool. Animator then set bool. Uh, bool name. Status. Then on exit. Copy that. Replace that and say only if reset on exit. Okay. So. Inside our controller, on, on the here, handle rotation, if move amount is higher than zero and say that animator get bool can rotate is true, then you're going to handle the rotation. So basically, when you're here, you're going to be able to tick this as rotate, so you'll be able to rotate everywhere you're still going to be able to rotate here but only towards your move direction okay so can rotate we want to turn that to true and it's going to be turned to false once you're in there so i think that should do it so let's see and guide us nah it's too fast yeah it's too fast so Let's go back and I think it, we can just, if we change the transition duration to one, should give us some time. Mm, it doesn't. It actually opens right away, I think. That's why it doesn't. 
transition duration so let's set that to 25 so maybe we can just do it we can add an artificial delay or something let's see what we can call in here I don't think we can call an iron numerator we can delayed open let's say yield uh, float delay yield turn new wait for seconds d animator Yeah, there's no start coroutine but we can do animator dot game object dot no dot transform dot start no uh, we need to run this through another controller let's see start recording yeah that's kind of a, a hack but here's what you can do can say that controller C animator get component controller or get component in parent C dot start coroutine delayed open public float delay let's set this to point 0.1 delay and animator but yeah it needs to add this through this it's sort of a hack but I'll show you we can optimize this basically if we just do controller if we save that controller here and say that controller if controller is null then go find it otherwise just start the code in here so this will give you a point one F delay or actually let's make it even higher before opening this we're going to set it to one second so there's going to be one second delay before you can actually rotate once you go into to the state and that didn't actually work damn it that didn't work because I think it's uh, our movement direction is variable and we have gizmos shown but let's say that we're going to draw the back draw ray for move direction from M transfer position then you're going to handle your rotation if move amount is greater than zero that is let's see it now now hmm Okay. Let's do the back dot log for the dot product. And I think maybe this doesn't actually work as I want it. Hmm. 
It doesn't rotate. Oh, we forgot to reset this on exit. So is this open now or what? That's weird. It said delay on zero. Clear that. Then let's see. Oh, oh, no, that's the delay open. If reset an exit, bull name status. Then that. Then inside your controller if move amount and this will be false here let's force uh, the false to be here as well that's something very tiny but you know it's still something that is actually used to. Okay, let's now change the delay to be something higher up. Yeah, now it works. So now you basically have to wait a whole second before you can actually start going over. Awesome. So now we have even more movement, even more, you know, specific uh, Metal Gear-esque style of movement. Okay, so we can remove all of that. Uh, so that's happen when you are on crouch, but uh, because this is a little bit of a problem to be happening when you're not on the, to a wall, we're basically going to do this. We're going to take this and do it once we are here. Else, then these two are going to stay the same. We're going to cut them. I'm going to paste them above. Okay, then we don't need the cells. Then we're simply going to make a state machine. For different, it's going to be different animations either way for when you're doing crouch wall crowds idle okay so that will be the original which means it's going to be 108 degrees left and then we're going to allow him to actually walk when once he is crouched wall crouched walk let's set this up let's loop and now this will be 90 degrees, the same as with the wall locomotion. Okay, then we're going to copy this, paste it here. And for this is going to go if you are crouched, is crouched through, oops, wall crouch locomotion or just work crouch is crouch through is crouch false and then this can go back to is wall if it's false then it will go back there okay okay let's replace the animations we now want walk crouch idle 
walk crowds walk and walk crowds walk here okay clear that hit play and let's see we are here and we're crouching we forgot I think we forgot one uh, state machine one exit transition okay and now we can walk crowds once we leave the wall we're still on on wall okay but it just keeps the delay so we can fix that later awesome so let's do the final fixes for this i'm going to set crowds to the delay to just b.2 well crowds has exit time we don't need exit time we don't need exit time and we do not need exit time okay now we're talking and we can move like this normally awesome okay perfect so when we're leaving it it he will rotate and now he can crouch and then he can just switch direction awesome so basically that's pretty spot on on the movement at least from what i can remember we can change the speeds a little bit so let's maybe change prone speed to one that's probably going to be a little bit better And maybe it's even too fast, maybe. Okay, then we should be updating our movement directions. Uh, move amount dot is greater than zero or move amount is zero. Uh, no. I'll move an animation, so I'm just going to place them here actually. So they don't really matter that much. Okay, awesome. Yeah, now we're talking. And we can see our enemy as well. But if crouch is false. Okay, we should also do another one transition from here for is crouch is false. So from prone when if I press C it moves up and gets up. Okay. And I think maybe we should either raise our speed. I think probably the speed should be a little bit higher. So uh, I think that's for, yeah, okay. That's it for this part as well. We now have also crouch movement and we should probably fix that as well. And maybe give a little bit more onto our speed or our wall check distance let's say wall check distance to six uh, that's better i guess okay then let's tailor this the camera i think maybe easy it's not really that much important let's make this 0.3 and that should do it now one last thing i want to change is on our input handler basically our camera holder is doing nothing our camera holder is let's find it it's basically this object which is at 0, 0, 0 position so technically it does do really nothing so we can change that to vector3.forward 
and vector 3 dot right and still get the same behavior where this comes into play is when we are onto our wall wall movement we're going to find the dot now between the move direction and the world forward okay so because we're using the relative direction to to move actually let's get that here if uh, the move direction now is different is well actually you know what if we do move direction multiplied by if dot is lower than zero multiply that by minus one and then either one let's do debug dot log for dot then this will replace uh, it's, it should reverse our movement keys let's hit play so when I'm sticking down to the wall and yeah it does so when I'm sticking down to the wall and pressing left or right I'm actually moving right and left okay but that's only when uh, the dot is actually at zero let's see how it behaves on left and right okay uh, now we have a problem now it gets all positive damn it so let's change this to be affected only by the normal so if the normal of the dot let's see now what that's going to do That's minus. Mm, yeah, that, no, that kills it. No. So I'm going to make this like if it's minus 0.8f. So it's going to give it some uh, some leeway. okay now it works it works for this of course this only works for for boxed yeah it barely actually it barely work, works if at all so now let's leave this we're going to find the solution for that later for now let's just finish with this part we now have crowds prone movement and rotating while on prone and it's really on point with MGS so you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything concerning this or other uh, or other tutorials and if you like to support me then do so via Patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making I'll see you next time